Jeremy S. Cook here, and Halloween is nearly upon us. Here's a simple smartphone-controlled pumpkin that can be made with just a few dollars of parts. All you need is a Wemos D1 Mini ESP8266 board, two LEDs, and some wire. Oh, and a bread bag, but I'll explain that later. First, I tested out my circuit, which consists of two 10mm LEDs hooked to separate outputs. Technically, you should use resistors here to produce the proper voltage, but I didn't bother. Wire came from a length of 5 connector cable that I had left over from another project. I twisted the cables together as needed, inserted them into the Wemos board, and soldered them with my TS100 soldering iron. After using some really cheap irons in the past, I'm a huge fan of this device. It's extremely small and features not only an adjustable temperature, but the iron shuts off when it's not being used. I'll link it in the description. The LEDs were then trimmed, and I bent the legs into a sort of hook that I could wrap the wires around before soldering. This worked well, and after going through the procedure twice, the hardware portion of my build was done. The code for this is a modified version of a relay control sketch by YouTuber Innovative Tom. I'll link my code as well as his video in the description, but basically it allows Wemos board to log onto your local network and generate a website at a certain IP address. All you have to do is change the part what notes the network name and password, as well as the values via the IP address lines. From there you can log in the web page from a computer or smart device as long as you're on the same local network. I set it up with several buttons to turn the lights on the eyes, and the onboard LED for the mouth. It's a fairly simple program, but you can see how this concept could be expanded to even more interesting uses. With the code done, I plugged the board into a USB lipstick battery, and I was able to turn the lights on and off via my custom web page. Once working, it was time to literally dig into the pumpkin. I drew a face, then cut out the top and went to work removing the insides. Likely you have ex some experience carving them, but if not, here's how you do it. Yeah, that's pretty nasty, but you know, you gotta big dig it out with your hand at some point. Now right here, this is very important because the LEDs will fit into the eye sockets and you know, on the bottom where the mouth is, it'll just be the, the Wemos's uh, built-on LED to, to light it up. After more testing with my smartphone, I got out a bread bag that I'd be using to hold the electronics. You could really use any sort of plastic bag or container, but this is what I could find at the time. One neat feature, however, is that the wires stick out the top, with the included clip keeping it closed. I zip-tied the Wemos board, USB cable, and battery together, then place it inside the bag. And there's the little clip. I then put hot glue on the LED leads to minimize moisture on them, then inserted everything into the pumpkin. Hot glue was then added to the LEDs to keep them in place. This worked well and actually made a satisfying burning sound when it first hits the pumpkin's insides. I guess this cools it off faster, which, you know, is helpful for my impatience with this kind of project. Finally, I put the top back on and the pumpkin was fully functional. Here you can see the mouse slash nose right light coming on, followed by the left and right eyes. Overall, this was a really fun project. As noted earlier, you could really build upon this platform to make something even cooler. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up or even consider subscribing. Ooh.